I wanted to show you all of my favorite primer accessories as well as one or two that I don't think you should waste your money on. So let's get straight into it and let's start with the good ones. So this is my all time favorite pram accessory. I've used it every single day of the summer so far. Some days not in the summer and I've used it on holiday abroad as well. And it folds down into this teeny tiny whoop, pouch as well. So it's, it's amazing. This was I think less than 10 pounds. We didn't want to go for one of these shades that covers the whole pram because it just, for me, it just looked really intense. I'm sure they're amazing, but for me, I just didn't think we would use it that much because we're in the UK and it's never sunny, apart from like now when it's a heat wave, the second one of the year. So what this does is you can attach, you can attach it however you want, but I loop the elastic over the top of the pushchair handle and then I sneak these bits down at the bottom somehow. You can tie it on, you can sneak it in a little hole however you want it to work for you. And then you basically have this part giving you shade for your push chair or bassinet, however you want to use it. You can then slide it from one side of the pram to the other side of the pram to give you shade in different directions. It's obviously much easier if you're walking in a straight line and you know which direction the sun is coming from because you can just shift it to that side. If you're on say a morning dog walk and you're changing directions all of the time, you will need to move it from side to side. It takes like a second, so it's not really a big deal. But what I like about it is that she can sit in it and she can look out and she can see everything she wants to see. She can get the breeze in her face, but she doesn't get the sun. So we don't need to worry about her being in the sun at all. Obviously we don't take her out when it's too hot because it is currently 30 degrees. So my clips of this are just of an empty pram because it is too hot to take her outside, even with the sunshade. I've not tried one of the ones that covers the whole pram, but so far for us, that little cover shade has been invaluable. My next favorite are these little wrist rattles, technically not pram accessories, but I've made them into pram accessories. So they've got a little Velcro bit on the back. You can loop it over the bumper bar. So it just sits on the bumper bar like this. We have two on the bumper bar and it just makes like a really teeny tiny noise, but it's so bright and colorful that she likes to see it. And this was actually the first thing she grabbed about three months, they were on the bumper bar and she just reached forward and wanted to grab it. I mean, her grabbing was like here, it didn't go straight to it, but then eventually she found it. So we now keep these on the bumper bars so that she can play with it, kick it, look at it. She gets her feet there as well because evidently hands aren't enough, but these are such good entertainment tools. And when they're not on the bumper bar, we actually, take them everywhere with us because that little shake she just loves and it just stops her in her tracks and she loves it. I don't know how long this is going to still entertain her for but so far for again something under £10 very handy. My next favourite, again we use these every single day multiple times over, these little pram clips. They're the kind of thing that you think how am I going to use them and then you start using them and you cannot stop using them. The way we tend to use it the most is to put little one in the push chair wrap a blanket over the top and use these on the edge of the chassis to stop the blanket from falling underneath the wheel and to keep it around her because we've got a wriggler, arms and legs everywhere. So this helps to keep the blanket on. It's not to strap her down because that just wouldn't work because she's too kicky. But this is literally just to keep the blanket on her so that we can keep her nice and snug and warm. Or if we don't have the shade with us, you can use these kind of things to put a muslin or a lighter blanket over the top and use that as a shade. These are just really handy and again, under 10 pounds, so I'm happy with these. Okay, my next one is not under 10 pounds. So this is a rocket. So this contraption helps little one stay asleep and it has been so useful on the days that we've used it, I cannot tell you. It's super simple, you've got a clip that you attach on the pram and then this little bit goes into that and we have it this way, we have it slightly, basically as if it's taken off, you have it pointing up. All you have to do is press this button on the top, hopefully you're gonna be able to see this. <laughs> and it just vibrates and then at the bottom, oh gosh, I'm gonna have to turn it off. At the bottom here, it's got a little dial so you can turn it up and down. So if I turn it down, so you can see that's much less movement. And if I turn it up, <laughs> it's much more movement. And the idea of this is that I feel like this should be like a race, like trying to run around the, around the house with this. Um, the, and that's how you turn it off. The idea of this is that it mimics you pushing the push chair so that you don't have to. And the way that we've used it is if we've been out on a walk and she falls asleep and we're going to like a cafe or we're coming home and she needs to sleep more, we have a light sleeper and she will just wake up if there's no noise or if we stop moving. So if we just put this on, because this mimics us being on the walk still, despite the fact that we've stopped 
o'clock moving. She doesn't realise that, it hasn't woken her up whatsoever, and she will just stay asleep. And this is the first time, using this, was the first time that we actually both got to have a sandwich with both of our hands. It was fantastic, it was fantastic. So this is just under 40 pounds, so it is an expensive one. If you think you're gonna use it in that kind of situation where your baby's already asleep but you're stopping moving and this is gonna help you, it is really, really useful. If she is awake when we stop moving, she doesn't care whether this is on or not because she will just look around. She kind of wants to be with people all the time and looking at stuff, so having this on when she's awake doesn't help, but it does help keep the sleep going. Yes, please. My next favourite is this little carabiner. This one is my buggy buddy. And you pop it over the handle of your push chair with this little rubber bit at the top to protect your push chair. Well, that's how I use it anyway. And then your bag can hang on this bottom bit. You can obviously just use one, which is what I use if I have my rucksack, or you can have two if you have like a handbag that you want to attach to it. I just find it really good if you want to be hands-free and body-free to just be able to attach your bag to the push chair and just leave it and just enjoy the freedom of your hands. Especially if you have a wriggler that wants to constantly be taken out of the pram or push chair onto you and then you don't have to fail for the bag being in the way or bag falling off or anything and this way you can just keep everything at kind of hand height for your pram so you can just grab everything out really really super easy. This one I bought with loads of other stuff at the same time but I will investigate and find out how much this one costs but again I would assume under £10. Obviously you could just put your bag in the basket underneath your push chair if you have one but this just means that you can grab whatever you need quickly and easily and you don't have to faff around just digging stuff out from the bottom so uh, I like this one. My next section is kind of weird ones. So the first one is this mosquito net. It basically works in the same way as your rain cover would. So you put it over the whole of the push chair. We have used this on holiday where there were mosquitoes and it did help in terms of she didn't get any mosquitoes coming near her, which was really, really good. In the UK, we definitely wouldn't bother using this. It was actually up in the loft. I just pulled this down for, well, we're actually gonna put this over the top of the paddling pool to stop the insects getting in, which I think is actually gonna be amazing use for this one. But useful to know if you're going somewhere with mosquitoes if you're not really going anywhere that's got loads of mosquitoes probably not worth your money the next thing that i don't think is worth the money is this cup holder if it comes with a pram obviously embrace it use it but i just find this one in particular is so lightweight that if i carry anything in it it just comes out the top of it and it spills everywhere and also this just literally pops off the top of the pram if you like almost like look at it if you sneeze at it it's going to come off so this one isn't very useful and especially because you know my water bottle is so big that it's never going to be useful for that but i usually take teas around but my tea just spills out the top so it's just dangerous because there's hot tea going everywhere, it's near the push chair. Uh, so I personally wouldn't waste my money and I actually had to tip out half of my tea and it still spilled over the side and I was trying to go careful with it. So um, if it comes with it, embrace it, use it. I don't feel that I would have bought this if it didn't come with it. So this next one is very useful when it's useful. This is obviously a fan. I say obviously, it's a fan. Um, this for some unknown reason also lights up. I don't know why you need a fan that lights up. I actually need this today because it's 30 degrees. It's far too hot. Um, so this one we, I'm gonna turn it off in case you can't hear me. This one, <laughs> unnecessarily warm. Okay, so this one has funny little legs so you can attach it to basically anything. So we wrap it around the push chair and use it that way. We don't put it directly on her because I read somewhere that it wasn't good for them. So we kind of put it around somewhere and kind of angle it so that the airflow happens. And I think that's the most important bit rather than it being like on her. So it's kind of airflow. We've used this on the pram quite a few times, but we're actually using this on the cot bed at the moment because again, all the heat waves, we're trying to help the air circulate in the room when she's having her little naps in the daytime because she doesn't sleep there in the nighttime yet. So this has been so useful for us. Obviously, if you're somewhere with amazing aircon, you will not need this. If you're somewhere with no aircon like we are, it might be worth thinking about. I'm not going to give you pros and cons of rain covers because chances are that your push chair will come with a rain cover as standard and you'll know whether you're in a country that has a lot of rain or not. So you probably already have that as an accessory and you'll know whether to use it or not. But let me tell you about the one thing that you do not want to waste your money on and that is this little parasol which looks super cute i think it was about 40 pounds i shouldn't have spent it and i should have bought myself some sweets for 40 pounds because that is uh, a much more useful way to spend my money so i actually really like the concept of it it attaches to the pram 
on this bit and then as you can see it kind of angles in different directions it's got a little bendy bit here so you can move it around really quick and easily and you can change direction you can open it like a normal brolly i'm not going to do it all the way because you know bad luck um, and obviously the sunshade protection on the inside here it's too wiggly it's so wiggly that when i'm walking with it it kind of does this and like the shade moves quite drastically so if I set this up on the pram in the shade and we go for a wander, even just taking a couple of steps, this just moves so much that she's just in and out the sun. You can't really see very much when I filmed it, but let me just tell you, this is just so wiggly. It's just not worth it. I've used it maybe twice. I used it statically and I found it really hard to angle it. And then I've used it on the move and it just, it just didn't cover her at all. It was a complete waste of money. Instead, we bought this shade. And I know like this looks super, super fancy. And this looks like I found it on my floor. But <laughs> this is so much more useful than this umbrella. So please don't waste your money. I know some people really, really like them. We just didn't get on with it at all. So... I would try and find a different solution rather than the umbrella, but you might like it. So these are all my favorite pram accessories, including one or two maybe not to spend your money on. If you have any different pram accessories, let me know because I'm probably gonna need them if I don't know about them. <laughs> See you for another one soon.